Hey, what's up? This is the fourth part of our payload basic setup video series. Today, we are going to talk about how to add S3 storage to our payload project. Now, this is a very straightforward process. First of all, I'm going to show you how you can create a storage bucket. And we're going to be using Linode as our hosting provider. And after that, we're going to add and configure the official S3 storage plugin for payload to our project. All right, let's get started. So I've logged into my Linode account, which is now called Akamai because it has been acquired by Akamai. Um, and it will probably sooner or later be integrated into that whole environment. But I'm just going to call it Linode for now. So I've logged into my account. If you don't have an account already, I've put a referral link down in the description where you can get a hundred bucks of credit for 60 days so that you can test out all of the features without actually having to pay for it. Please note though, since this channel isn't old enough, the link isn't clickable. So if you want to use it, just copy it and paste it in your browser. Now, moving on, let's create a storage bucket. So I'm going to click on object storage in the left panel here and then click on create bucket. Now this will open up an input where we can put in our label. I'm just going to call it basic setup bucket. Now you can select a region, uh, choose a region that is the most close to your. I'm going to choose Frankfurt in Germany. And then I'm going to click on create bucket. Now, as you can see, we have successfully created our bucket here. Next thing that we're going to do is click on access keys. And now we're going to create an access key that can only access this one bucket. Now, the way I'm going to create this access key is I'm just clicking on create access key on this big blue button here. This will open up a page where I can put in the label for my key. I'm just going to call it basic setup key. And what's important to note is that by default, this key has access to all buckets that you have created. Now, this is not what I want. So we're going to enable limited access and then we're going to scroll down to our bucket that we have created and set it to read and write. So this way our access key only has access to this specific bucket. We're going to click on create. This will take just a second. And now it's showing us our new access key and secret key. Please go ahead and copy those two because we're going to need them later. I'm just going to copy and paste them into our environment variables file so that we can use them later. Now that the setup part is done, we're going to continue with setting up our payload project. For that, I'm going to go into our terminal and install a few libraries that we need. I'm just going to paste this in here right now, but you will find a link to a Notion document that contains all the commands and code snippets that we're going to use today. So let's install the libraries. And as soon as that is done, we will add five environment variables to our project. I'm going to paste them in again, but I'm going to explain them to you one by one. They are all related to our S3 bucket. The first thing is the bucket name that we have to specify. In our case, we called it basic setup bucket. The second variable is our access key. I'm going to take the access key that we copied. And the secret key is the second key that we get from Linode, the secret access key. We also have to specify an S3 endpoint because we're using the Linode S3 endpoint, obviously. It's very important that you look for the region 
that you're using it in. Um, as I've explained before, you can select your own region and depending on what region you choose, you need to change this domain and also the fifth variable, which is the S3 region. Next up, we're going into our payload config file. And at the top, we're going to create a so-called storage adapter. This adapter is used by the official payload plugin to connect to our S3 storage. Now there are multiple adapters that you can create and use, not only for S3, but also for Google Cloud Storage and a lot of other providers. So I'm going to paste in a code snippet that is basically using the S3 adapter function that we get from the plugin itself. We just have to import it as well. So we're going to say import S3 adapter from payload, sorry, payload CMS slash plugin cloud storage slash S3. Now what this storage adapter basically does is it puts our credentials into a config object that we can later use to connect to our bucket. The only thing that's left to do is to add the cloud storage plugin to our payload plugins. To do that, we're going to add a plugins attribute to the bottom of our config, which is an array. And in this array, we're going to say cloud storage, which calls the plugin that we've installed. And we're going to give it a configuration. Now this configuration looks like the following. We're going to say collections, which is an object. And in this object, for every collection that we want to enable the S3 plugin for, we're going to use the collection slug as the key and the adapter as the value. So in our case, what I want is I want to enable the S3 plugin for our media collection. So I'm going to say media and then I'm going to say adapter and use the storage adapter that we defined at the top of the file. And that's really it, that will work. The only thing left is to create a media collection so that we can actually test our storage adapter. For this, I'm going to go to collections, click on add file and say media.js. Now to create a payload collection, you can it's basically very straightforward. You just say export cons media. You have to give it a slug. The slug will be media. And that's the same slug. And it's very important that we're using here for our plugin. Okay. We're going to give it a slug media. Uh, also, we're going to enable uploads. We're going to say upload true. We can also give it custom labels if we want to. So we're going to say labels singular media plural it's basically the same and fields you can use them you can for example specify an alt text for your media if it's an image or something but i'm just going to leave it blank for now because we just want that file upload before testing it out we still have to add this collection to our payload config so we're going back into our payload config file and under collections we're going to add media. Now let's test it out. I'm going to start our development server by using npm run dev. So as you can see, our development server is online at localhost 4000. If we open up localhost in our browser, we still have to create our first user actually. So I'm just going to do that real quick. with a very, very secure password. Now, after creating our user, we can actually access our dashboard. And as you can see, we've created a media collection. And if we create a new media doc, we can select the file. I'm just going to select this 
beautiful image of his city. I'm going to say open. I'm going to click on save. And that's it. Our image has been uploaded successfully. Let's go back to Linode now and check if the file has actually arrived in our bucket. As you can see, for the basic setup bucket, we have one object in there with a size of over five megabytes. Now, if I click on it, I can actually browse the files that are here. And as you can see, our image that we just uploaded is here. We can click on it. We can also download it. And as you can see, it's the exact same image that we uploaded. All right, that's it for today's video. If you still have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments below. And if you want to support this channel and if you want to see more content like this, feel free to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. That will let me know that this content is valuable to you and that I should produce more. All right, take care.